Breaking news, insecurity, U.S. government reaches out to Buhari. What is going on? This is the question everybody is asking. What is happening on that side of the land? What is happening? What is happening? How come there is a president that cannot even, you know, put his people together and the news keep coming again and again and again and again? What exactly is happening? Who is the president? And why is his voice not heard? How come the people are wailing, shouting, and crying out, and we cannot hear from the president? Is he all right? Is everything okay? Because any well-thinking mind, you remember the U.S. have, they have an interest also in Nigeria. You know, they are partners, and they need to understand exactly what is going on. You see, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details regarding to U.S. reaching out to Buhari on security issues. In security, the U.S. government reaches out to Buhari what is going on. There has been an improvement in the occurrence. There has been no improvement in the occurrence of insurgents, banditry in the country in the last 10 days or so. There have been incidents of one after the other until Sunday, Monday, where there are reports of people being killed, students, Grove Greenfield University, the adopters giving threats that more will be killed and we also saw the student of federal uh forest students of college of uh, forest in kaduna some released after their parents have paid ransom we received two weeks ago from a nigerian who studied and lived in the united states for 15 years and who has connections with some high ups in current administration in Niger in america the man told us that the President Joe Biden's government about three weeks ago got in touch with President Muhammad Buhari that he must act fast to bring down the worsening security in the country. The Americans believe that he could do it because the because the way he has been because of the way things have been going from and deteriorating in the past few weeks, he can do it. He needs to step up and get along with it. The source also said that Biden was, Buhari was told that the U.S. may take steps if it does not act in time because the situation in Nigeria can lead to complete breakdown of law and order or civil war, a situation they don't want to occur in Nigeria. A situation the Americans said could cause problems, not really, not only in Nigeria, but also in West Africa and Central Africa sub-region among the efforts. If efforts are not put in the worsened security, can lead to economic and social this situation, and the two sub region will be flooded with thousands, if not millions, of people into poorer neighborhood countries, West Africa, and the United States. And so they want to curb it before it gets any further. The sources believe that after receiving the warning from the U.S. President Joe Biden. The reason why Buhari had the immediate meeting with Osibanjo and service chiefs to discuss the security situation. So, excuse me, guys, we'll continue. So, if you listen properly, yes? So, the U.S., Joe Biden himself, apart from the Secretary of State, Blink, who had a meeting with Buhari in the last few, um, about a week ago or so, yes? About, apart from that, Joe Biden actually put a call through to Buhari to do something, if not, they will have to step in because they cannot afford civil war in Nigeria, which will not spread to other um, African countries, which will in turn lead to Nigerians and Africa pouring into Europe and eventually America and cause a lot of rancor. So what do they want to do? They want to ensure that they curb it and they've told Buhari to quickly nip it at the ball to make sure that he gets things on and fast. That was the reason Buhari summoned Osibanjo and the service chiefs to be having security meeting. And to be very candid, nothing has come out of those meetings. It's talk, 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 talk. Nothing is working. So he's having those meetings in the order to say that, yes, we had a meeting. Yes, we had a meeting. The, the talk is cheap. Please, we want to see results. Don't come and give us an excellent speech, well-written speech by someone who is gifted with the gift of putting words together 
an article that when you read it, you are flabbergasted. No, 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 no. We want to see actions. So Buhari is only having this meeting in order to make it look like, you know, they are actually doing something. And by the way, the U.S. have warned him, you know, that, that um, if they don't get things done, they will step in. We believe it has been, it was because of former, former President Lushegu Obasanjo was aware of the U.S. warning to Buhari that led to the comments he made on Wednesday when he addressed the 108 annual convention of the Nigerian Brit Nigerian Baptist in Ibadan. He was he was reported to have told the congregation that the storms of our government is only linging. It cannot fall off. The situation in Nigeria is threatening, but we won't be consumed by it. I also believe that the U.S. warning was why two days ago on Monday, the President Muhammad Buhari did away with the National Security Group and established in place the central combat trade in small arms. That's why he started all those things. So we say he has started these things. That's why he is now said that they have blocked the borders to ensure that uh, they are stopping influx of uh, small weapon smuggling into the country. You know, there was someone yesterday, someone security chiefs yesterday again. Remember, we reported to you on National Security Council. The president, you know, is expected to come up with all these things and way forward. It is also possible that Buhari now agrees to step in, you know, and, it, and, and speak with the National Assembly and the House in the Tennessee states to act in restructuring of the country because things are now getting out of hand for him. Because Biden himself told him that if they don't, if he does not do something, this is Jihadi's agenda. If he does not do something and the situation gets out of hand, the situation, what will happen is that they will come in and step in because they don't want Nigeria to go into civil war. It will spray into other countries, which they don't want, which they don't want at all. And so for that reason, they will stand up and they will step in. And Buhari, he, he doesn't want them to step in. If they step in, uh, more things will happen that you can imagine. So he's, he's trying to play smart by saying that uh, they've not closed the borders for small arms. So you knew all along that there are small arms being smug smuggled into the country. Hence, the increase in security. You knew you're a wicked person, Buhari. You're a very wicked man. And God is watching you. You see, that's why everybody needs to keep speaking. If we don't, if we stop speaking, it's as though everything is fine. We are now okay. But when we keep letting them know that, no, things are not all right too. This past, there's still oppression. There is still this, there is still that. Killing is still ongoing. Then they will step in. Maybe they just need to step in. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.